everybody. I hope y'all are all having a wonderful day and have been having a wonderful week and all that. I have not been here, so yeah, it's been a while, it seems like. Um, okay, first of all, I'm going to be doing a review slash swatches over the Makeup Forever Desire Me set and um, Give In To Me set, which come with these items. I posted some pictures of them on Instagram and I had several of y'all asking if I was going to do swatches and stuff, so here it is now. So if y'all want to see that, then click on the description below and it will start you at where those things start. But for now I'm going to make a couple little announcements and stuff, so let's do that first. Um, first of all, like I said, I, it seems I've... this is the only video I've uploaded this week. Um, and I have not really been online responding to y'all and I'm so sorry for that. I will answer all of y'all before I go out of town. <laughs> I've been really busy packing and getting the house ready and all that, so I that's why I have not really been on here. Um, and also, since I'm going out of town next week, I am not going to have any videos up at all. I'm just not going to have any time or access to my computer and all that to um, to be uploading videos next week. And so, yeah, no videos next week, no internet access for me next week. So next week, I'm just going to be gone from here. Um, I just wanted to... Ugh. I just wanted to let y'all know so y'all wouldn't be wondering like where are the videos, where is she at, why isn't she responding, is she leaving, or <laughs> YouTube forever, no. I'm just gonna be gone next week and stuff and um, after that I'll be back and hopefully I'll have a whole bunch of cool uh, pictures and footage and stuff to show y'all whenever we get back, I'm so excited. So anyway. Um, yeah, let's just get into the review and stuff. And anyway, like I said, I apologize. I'm going to try and respond to as many of you as I can before I leave on, uh, before I leave. So let's get into the review. <laughs> First of all, I am going to start off with the uh, smaller one. And like I said, this is Makeup Forever and this is their 50 Shades of Grey line. Obviously you have Anastasia Steele and Christian Grey here together looking all nice and happy and um, yeah um, this movie seems to or books I guess book slash movie seems to have quite the following so I'm sure there are a whole bunch of you ladies or dudes or whoever who are really excited about um, about this coming out so yeah I, I, I actually picked it up just because I really love Makeup Forever's uh, eyeshadows and stuff, and uh, since there was a set, I really wanted to give some more of the stuff a try, and I'm so glad I did. I love these sets. They are just beautiful. So like I said, let's get into the smaller one. The smaller one is called Desire Me, and this is the blush trio. Oh, cheeky blush trio. And um, it says, create your look of desire with three shades of cheek color to wear at will. And this one costs $49. It has three different looks, three different cheek looks that you can create on here. The first one is unlock her healthy glow. The other one is unlock her highlighted cheek look. And the last one is unlock her classic cheek look. I guess the one I have on today is classic cheek look. And I used all three of them for that. So here is the pouch it comes with. It is a pink little drawstring pouch and this one is like velvet feeling and then on the inside it is silky and pink. How beautiful. And it has a little charm that says makeup forever and then it has a little key. It's the key to my heart. Not really but anyway there's a little key. A little uh, dangles going on here. And so you open this up and here you have it. The Cheek Trio. Mine is all dusty looking because I've used it quite a bit. Um, but anyway, these, are, like I've said, her artist uh, shadows are really versatile. So obviously you can use them as cheeks. You can use them as cheeks. Here, just put them on and instantly you grow cheeks. No, you can use them as blushes, you can use them as eyeshadows, you can use them whichever way you want because they are just, they're just wonderful. So this is, they're using it as a um, cheek palette on here, but if you look in the back, this one is I-526 eyeshadow, this one's I-808 eyeshadow, and this one is S-748 blush. 
This one is a beautiful highlighter. This one is more of a pinkish blush and this one is more of a coral orangish blush. If, can you see that beautiful glow it creates? I love these so much, so much. I think I've already said that enough, but anyway, there's not really much I could say about this. I, I've, I've, they work amazing. They're highly pigmented. You know, I've already done a review over the um, Makeup Forever Artist shadows and I can't say enough good things about them. But the one thing that I can say that's kind of annoying about, uh, oh my gosh, this color is so beautiful. I'm gonna have swatches later on. The only thing that is kind of annoying is the way they look whenever you use them a whole bunch. It looks, whenever you look at it, like it has a film over it and it looks like maybe you're not able to get product off of it, but you can. It just looks really weird. So I just wanted to throw that out there after you start using it a few times, it looks like, I don't know, it just looks real strange, but it still works great. It's still wonderful. They have it to, at Sephora to where one is $21. If you get two, it's 30 something. If you get three, it's about $45, I think. So if you were to get all three of these individually, it would be about $45. It seems like all of their other, um, their other sets have been magnetized and you can get them out. So yep, same is true for that. Um, I hope my dog doesn't try and eat this because that would break my heart. Yeah, so they're magnetic. So if you have a Z palette and want to throw them in there, you can do that as well. Oh gosh, that kind of scared me a little bit. I should have probably tried that over something soft, but Anyway, yeah, they come out if you want them to. <laughs> and then in addition to the blushes, it comes with this brush, which is the I-50W uh, cheek brush. It has this, that's not real wood, that's not real wood. But anyway, it has this, it looks like wood, but the bristles are really, they work really well. I like it a lot, so I think this set is worth it. It comes with this pouch, it comes with the cheek stuff, and then it comes with this brush. And like I said, it's $49 for all of this stuff. This is the cheek set. And like I said, it is called Desire Me, and this is what the box looks like. So that is showing you what the first thing looks like. At the end, I will have the swatches like I already said. The second one is called Give In To Me, and this one, the front looks pretty much the same. Obviously, it's a bigger box, and it says Alluring Color For Eyes And Lips. And um, on the back, it shows you all that it comes with, and it says Give In, Transform Your Look From Soft And Innocent To Sultry And Playful. So it has that, it comes with that box, and it comes with this little booklet, which um, shows you three different looks also. This one is unlock her natural look, unlock her sultry look, and unlock her empowered look. So I guess today I'm empowered because that is the one that I followed. <laughs> so anyway, here's the box. As you can see, it is quite large. The top of it is squishy and soft, but it's still real sturdy. Um, on the sides, it says, uh, I guess, quotes from the movie. Don't resist. Yes, sir. Given to Gray. I'd like to bite that lip. This is so cheesy to me, by the way. <laughs> this stuff on here. Don't resist. Obey. There's something about elevators. Mr. Gray will see you now. And laters, baby. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I could have done without all that uh, writing on the side because to me that that's kind of funny, but... I don't care. Anyway, so like I said, this box, it has this little thing here. So when you open it, it won't go flopping all the way into outer space. Um, it has this. Everything in here is lined with like silky stuff and it's really pretty. It has this mirror, which is a, uh, a good mirror. And then it says makeup forever. Hey, there's the setup. <laughs> So, um, and then down here on the bottom, you have the eyeshadow thing. It comes with four of them. It has a lipstick, it has the lip gloss, it has the liner, it has the mascara, and then there's this little compartment where it says you can, you know, store secret stuff. But I mean, anybody can come in here and open this. But what I do like about that is, you know, you're like, all this space is wasted. You're, it's just in there. If you want, you can take the black part out 
and then you just have this nice box where you can keep things in if you want to, which, you know, I think is pretty neat. But I'll probably just keep the uh, stuff that's already in here and then also put the cheek set in here too, so handy little thing here. It's really bulky though, so if there are some of you who don't like things that take up space, this might be something that y'all don't really care too much for. My 514 would be this one. ME612. S556 would be this one. And then I628 is this one. So those are the colors of those. So there's that. Like I said, for a trio, it is $45, but if you get one more, the next shadow is full price. So for this right here, if you were to try and purchase this individually, it would be $45 plus $21, $22, so $60 seven sixty seven dollars already for the price of this this set by the way i didn't mention already cost 79 so already you have quite a good deal obviously so then after that we have the makeup forever mascara this one's the smoky extravagant mascara this is what it looks like this is what the brush looks like it is wide at the bottom and small at the top, which I find is good for applying my lower lash uh, mascara because it doesn't just get everywhere and I can use the tiny brush, you know? So that's handy. Also, it comes with a graphic eyeliner, which is their one that looks like a pen. And I really appreciate those because of the precision that you can do when whenever using these. I'm not really a big fan of the coal liners and stuff like that unless if I'm going in my waterline. Also we have the Lab Shine and this one is in the color D14. I have that on my lips but that I have on top of the Rouge Artist Natural N4 lipstick. So I put this on and then I layered this on top. I really like these uh, lipsticks. This one went on really, really creamy. And uh, this lip gloss isn't really that uh, sticky at all. Nope, it just feels like normal non-sticky gloss. You can always appreciate a gloss that doesn't make it feel like your lips are glued shut together. Um, but it has a brush applicator. It's not one of those doe foot applicators. And there is a bit of shine. It's nice and shimmery. And uh, yeah, like I said, this lipstick is real creamy. It goes on real well. It's real pigmented and I like it a lot also. The mascara, the mascara is, it's, it's, it's good to have whenever I, um, whenever I, I, I put it on and then I put my falsies on on top of it Obviously, those are not the lashes that this produced, <laughs> but um, whenever I put um, mascara on my lower lashes, I put a coat, let it dry, put another coat, let it dry, which I know can lead to clumps and stuff, but with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, it never clumps up. It just keeps building up, and that's what I like. With this one, it started to clump together, so that's one word of warning for this. It, it seems that it can tend to get... It's not like the thick clumps, you know, but it tended to clump the, stick the lashes together instead of keeping them nice and apart and stuff. So that's just a little warning about this mascara. Just use a few coats of it and you'll probably be all right. So anyway, I really like all of the stuff in this set. It's really, really, I think it's a really great deal. Like I said, it's $79, but this alone, like I said, would have cost about, um, about 40, about 60 something dollars. Um, the lip gloss, the full size lip glosses are $19. The lipsticks are $20. The mascara is $24. I just spat. I am so sorry. And the graphic liners are $24. So add all that up and you can see that you have definitely saved quite a bit of money by buying this all bundled up together. It says it's $79, but so it is a $179 value. So you've saved $100 by purchasing this all together and you get this cool box and you get this little booklet of looks and stuff and if you're a 50 shades of gray fan then there you go that's probably another added bonus for you all i guess that's all i really wanted to say about the stuff that you get my dog is over there making noises and so uh i guess it's time to go on to the swatches which is probably the part 
that is the most fun for all of us. So you ready? Let's get into it. All right, since I started off with the blushes, that's what I will start off with here too. This one is I-526. This next one is I-808. See, it has a really unique color to it. It's real pretty. And then this one is S748. And like I said, these three are part of the blush trio. And now we will start off with the eyeshadow quad. And this first color is I514. See, it's real pigmented. And then on the right of the palette, we have ME612. And then on the bottom left of the quad, we have S556. And then on the bottom right, we have I628. And those four are from the Give In To Me set. The lipstick is Rouge Artist Natural N4. And the lip gloss is Lab Shine D14. And lastly, here's the graphic liner. It's black, but I just wanted to show y'all, you know, it. <laughs> and here is everything, aside from the mascara, of course, from the uh, Give In To Me set. All right, guys, well, I hope y'all enjoyed the swatches. Um, with the eyeshadows, maybe from seeing those swatched out, y'all can really understand why I love them so much. They're just so pigmented and go on with such ease that I just really, really, really adore them. <laughs> so anyway, what are y'all's thoughts on these sets? Are y'all gonna pick some up? Are y'all just gonna pass or just, I wanna know, have y'all already gotten it? So anyway, let me know and um, I will see y'all in two weeks, I guess. <laughs> I will miss you guys talking to all of y'all. So anyway, have a wonderful next week and stuff and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>